Hello everyone and welcome back to YK Reviews. For today's video, I'm going to be discussing and reviewing the Netflix series Money Heist Korea, which is basically a new take on the original Money Heist, which came out um, on Netflix as well. So this is going to be like the Korean version. So let's discuss Money Heist Korea. And I, because of like um, with Squid Game, um, I was enjoying like the Korean content with I know that they would come out with something good but when they announced originally having the money heist Korean version I thought okay this might be like a unique take on the original money heist maybe set in the same universe or um, it's going to be them trying to replicate it but once I saw the show it's kind of like an exact replica of the original money heist like the names the characters the plot it was it's literally the copy and paste of the original money heist and don't get me wrong i loved the original money heist there were a couple of like seasons where it's like hit and miss um with like the plot and everything but overall like money heist was just like one of the most compelling netflix shows that they have done and it was so unique so so I was a bit iffy and a bit weary when it comes to like this version of it but because like the whole plot of because you have like North Korea and South Korea where the borders are like finally have come together after like such a long time and so um, because of that like the rich essentially got richer and the poor became poorer um, that's kind of like the theme that they were going with so then you have um, the professor recruiting people because he wants to take um because he wants to rob the the bank basically so again it's copy and paste because you have the professor now recruiting people so you've got his so you've got his team all gathered around and like he's going through like how they're going to rob the place and like what they're going to do the strategies and then giving them nicknames so you have the professor tokyo rio denver nairobi Helsinki, Moscow. So every single like nickname is completely the same as all the ones in the original. So like whenever you think of Tokyo, you have um, Tokyo from the original one. You you remember like her. You remember because um, whenever I think of Tokyo, I remember when she like stormed the bank with the motorbike after like the original Berlin threw her out you have Denver the only when I think of Denver I remember his laugh you have you have Nairobi who's the energetic one like encouraging people when they're printing out the money you have um you have Moscow Denver's father and like the emotional scenes between the two of them and then you have Berlin and you have the professor because you have like Berlin is an icon and I still from time to time watch his little scenes um, here and there. I love like the scenes of him and the professor together, like singing together, brother brothers together, working together, all that stuff and how Berlin was. Like despite how despicable he was, he was still a enjoyable character. You l loved the character of Berlin. But then when you have this version in like the Korean version, the characters I just felt like didn't gel together well they didn't seem like a um they didn't seem like a family or that kind of, like i know this sounds like a fast and furious um review by talking about family and all that kind of stuff but they didn't they weren't like a well-oiled machine basically like you have the professor and berlin didn't seem like they were brothers or anything like that but like you have no like kind of chemistry like Berlin's story in this one is he was a kid who got like captured by like crossing the border I believe it was and then went to prison and then break, broke out of prison so he's like kind of this hard nut and so the rest of the characters like Nairobi, Tokyo, Rio you just you don't feel their closeness with Tokyo and Rio you don't feel like the love and chemistry they have but compared to like the original one so it just felt like very flat when it comes to like some of the scenes like i'll give them credit because you you have the um, korean version of otoro in this uh in this show who honestly is more hate i feel like he's more hated than the spanish version which 
you wouldn't think was possible but for some reason he manages to do it but you have like plot for plot storyline for storyline because you have like the professor outside but in this case instead of him visiting a cafe and all that kind of stuff he has opened up his own cafe all the parts where he finds out that like the car wasn't actually disposed correctly in the original one he goes he dresses up as a homeless man he um hides in between like to get rid of like the evidence and all that kind of stuff whereas this one it wasn't fleshed out as much you kind of the scene was kind of he gets into the scrapyard he's like cleaning the um, car wiping off all the evidence the police find him and so he just drives off and like kind of drives the car into the the river basically but there's not the it just feels like they jab like season one and two of the original version into this one here so storylines weren't fleshed out as much it was kind of like quick rapid pace and even towards like the end of the season itself where you have the police officer that's not with um lisbon so the korean version of lisbon who um actually played son in lost her nickname is son in this show which i found was like a nice little like connection there so like these um the officer or the um, the SWAT leader, I'm not sure who, um, what he is, but like with him, th- those two conflicting and everything like that, you have him towards the end of the season, like the season finale or the like cl- cliffhanger is him wanting to like meet with the professor who doesn't know he's obviously the professor, but he wants to like go into his cafe, start like interrogating him because he's got the like suspicious, he's because he's more like suspicious of him and everything, but then it just, it doesn't feel as dramatic or intense because you know like because you compare it with the original one that's why i feel like kind of like shot them in the foot it's because they're using so much of the original in this one you kind of don't have any original like ideas or it's not as intense or as dramatic as it can be because there are there are some few scenes where you're you, it it honestly caught me off guard like, like there was one particular scene where one of like the soldiers like when they sneak into the um the, the bank and one of the soldiers stayed behind and so you think that berlin shoots him but when you have like the um son's character going into the bank to interview everyone to make sure they're okay and then she tells them that she wants to see the officer that's like that was um sneaking into like the bank she wants to see him if he's still alive and so you think he's dead but then they come to reveal that he like they tricked the police officer to coming to find out that he is actually still alive that was like a nice little like um twist to it which i enjoyed that part but there wasn't enough of them all like together um not like focusing on the heist or anything but just like scenes of them together in general like for example when and the original when moscow finds the dirt and then they have that nice little scene of them like singing bella ciao and dancing together like you feel that camaraderie with them but there was none of that kind of stuff in this version so you kind of just you you're rooting for them but you don't feel that strong connection compared to like the original and the way they like ended everything with like um with the season i don't know if it's like a mid-season finale or an end of season finale and they're gonna go season two or um do a part two of this season i'm not 100 percent sure but i just feel like they're cramming too much into one season they need to like have it fleshed out because you have this unique concept you have the north korea and south korea joining together you have that unique concept of that you have so much different possibilities and different routes to go with when it comes to that you don't need to like stick to You don't need to stick to like the plots of the original one go for something different which i hope is what they do because it's just too too much copy and paste people are going to compare it too much to the original one the fact that like the names of the cities are completely the exact same even situations in the bank where denver shoots um the one that's having the affair with the korean version of arturo but like he shoots her in the leg and then he's like saving her he doesn't kill her but he like saves her and they start catching feelings for her it's the same as what denver experienced in the original one so there wasn't it's just too much of that too much copy and paste of that so i feel like if if you haven't seen both if you haven't seen the original one or the korean one i would go watch the original one because it's hands down so much better but if you've seen the original one and you want to like 
you want to experience Money Heist again, but like as a new version, I would check out the Korean one. But I know it's just gonna you're just gonna keep thinking of the original characters when you see these ones. It's nice to watch Money Heist again, even if it's not the original cast or the original crew. It's nice to like watch Money Heist again as like a new take in a new country, even if it is the same plot. But I just feel like you're always going to be comparing it to the original one. Like you're going to watch it and you're going to be like, yeah, but like Tokyo, that's not Tokyo. Like Tokyo would have acted completely different or Rio or Denver, Berlin, like that kind of stuff. But if you actually have seen the show, um, if you've seen both, let me know like your thoughts and what you feel like the difference is and the comparison is and like what your thoughts on the new Korean version versus the original one if you've seen one or the other let me know what you thought about that as well down in the comment section below so thank you so much for watching this is like my take and my opinion on it and if you haven't already please hit the like hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel appreciate all the support that um giving me here and also i have got a twitter account link is also in the description down below too i will be trying to post regularly my thoughts my opinions on like entertainment video games and shows as a whole and also whenever i upload a video i'll be posting that posting it on there as well so the link is in the description down below follow me on the twitter but again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support this is yk reviews peace